Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. We recently did an introductory video where I told you about my 96 Mustang Cobra, my plans of swapping in a Coyote Crate engine. Now the Coyote Crate engine is a pretty common swap at this point, so we're not gonna go into heavy detail on every nut and bolt. We're gonna tell you the basics that you need and tell you the parts you're gonna be using for this particular swap. Now if you're looking to swap a Coyote into your 96 through 04 Mustang, you can actually use a stock hay member. To do that though, you'll have to get rid of the factory pan and go with a Moroso pan that'll clear it. In the case of my car, I have an aftermarket UPR tubular K-member, so the stock pan is gonna work fine without any kind of issues at all. Now with the Coyote Crate engine, we're using the standard 96 through 04 mounts. In my case, I have a set of Prothane mounts, but these are gonna bolt right onto the Coyote Crate engine and then drop right into our K-member. As you can see, our Prothane aftermarket polyurethane motor mounts bolt right to the Coyote engine without any problem. You will need three bolts to accomplish this, which are not included. These are gonna be M10 by 1.5, so if you're looking at these mounts on your block, that's gonna be the bolt you need. Put a little Loctite on, make them nice and tight. We're gonna put both motor mounts on. Now we can pick up the engine and drop it into our Cobra. We got the engine seated in the car, did come up to a couple issues, which we kind of expected. In our case, the oil cooler is touching the rack, but we plan on removing that anyway, so that's really no big deal. We also found our 96 Cobra came with a factory strut tower brace, and the tabs for the brace on the pinch weld back here are touching the back of the engine, so it's about to be cut off as well. Again, these are things we expected, no big deal. We'll take care of these, then our next installment, we'll install the clutch, the bell housing, the flywheel, and the transmission.